Best thing to do is take off your hard drive. And then take off the front panel by putting your fingers in here and just pulling it up. And that's that off. And now you need to take off the grey top and bottom. And what you're going to do is get a little screwdriver, a little flat screwdriver is all you need to take off the top and bottom. And you just pull on this part very gently whilst pushing your screwdriver in where the clips are. Do that, Do that on both sides. one off and then the second one and for the top with the hard drive or where the hard drive was you want to put your screwdriver in like this and kind of find where the clip is and then pull it so you're kind of push, pushing it in and going like this there we go in on the sides and now for the final clip the final clip is actually hidden behind this little baby so you need to just take this thing off actually can I do it without Ooh, on this one it's just come off without if this doesn't come off uh, and it's stuck behind here then all you need to do is just pull that off and then just push in with the screwdriver. But I didn't need to do that. So that's cool. So that's top and bottom off. And you've now got your four clips here. These ones are very easy to do, but the ones at the back are the front ones. Okay, to take the case off, you're going to have to push in all the clips on the back. There's five here and two here. You can either use a small flathead screwdriver. I tend to use one of these, a little knife. It looks wickedly sharp, but is, I can promise you, very, very blunt. And I find that because that's so thin, it doesn't leave any marks at all, and it's also quite easy to push in. You'll hear the clips when I so, start off here. What I'm doing is I'm pushing this apart like that, and at the same time, pushing in on the clips, and you'll hear the clips like that. And that's the back off. See? And on the front, you're just going to pull off like this. There goes your Microsoft warranty. Ta da! Okay, with half of the case off, you now need to remove. One, two, three, four, five, and six screws to be able to take off the other half. And I'm going to use one of these. That is a Torx T10 drill bit with one of these. And that's just a screwdriver attachment. With the last of the screws out, you just 
just need to take off this little thing. Like that. And there we go. One Xbox 360. Motherboard.